Hello, it's Jam Games here once again, and in this video we are going to actually implement the new animations that we created on the last episodes, so we can really use them in our game. So yeah, let's get started. So, what we have to do first is we want to go to the PP third person character, and we want to close this, and we want to go to the pet lane location, okay? And what we have to do here is we want to get from this select node, and we want to minus from it, and we want to minus the, this y value from here, okay? So we can see the how many units uh, from our player the next lane is basically. So if we are in the middle and we are going to the next lane to the right, it will this value will be two hundred and sixty. Okay. Then what we want to do is let's actually move all this a little bit further down uh, right. And after this branch, we want to add a sequence, so S and left click. Let's connect 10, 0 back here. And now let's create a new variable. And this variable will be called lane difference, and it will be type float. Now we want to get it, and we want to set it here from the 10, 1. Like that. And what we want to set it to will be a, I will show you. Let's get from this and let's get a select float node. Okay. Now we want to get from this value and we want to check if it's less than zero and connect it to the pick A. Like that. Now we want to get from this and we want to map range clamped okay and we can connect this to the b this will be if the value is greater so it's not less so it will select b so we want to select uh sorry set the b value which the maximum can be 260 so let's set it to 260 we want it to be 100 so when our Maximum value, lane switch value is 260, it will convert it to 100, okay? And then we want to change this in range A value to be 50, so it will be already 0 on the 50, okay? Now let's duplicate this, copy and paste, connect the range, to the uh, sorry, the value from here to here, and connect this to the A. Let's actually move this all a little bit further down, like this. And here, if it's less than zero, then what we want to do, we want to make this A value to be minus 260, and this B value to be minus 50. Okay? And we want to map this to be zero, like it is here. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we want this to be minus 100, so it will change minus 260 to minus 100. And this minus 50 will be changed to zero. Okay, you want to check that you have right values here, like this. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to compile and we want to save all. Then we want to go to third person map, and to the animations, and we want to open the ABP player. And here on the ABP player, we want to go to the event graph. And here on the start, where we are casting to the player, we want to change that a little bit. So let's let's actually delete this box from here, and let's move this a little bit further, like that. Let's delete this cast to character, and let's get from the owning actor, and we want to cast to BB 
per person character. Because we, if we are only casting to the character, we cannot access these uh, blueprints variables. Okay? Now we can connect this back to the character and this to here, like that. Now let's go to the references and change this character to player ref. I always like that name more. Now under here, let's add a new. Oh, wait a sec. Okay. Let's add a new pin here to the sequence. And then let's get our player ref under here. And let's get the lane diff. Okay, we, sorry, we have to compile first. Let's compile, and now we should be able to get the lane difference. So, lane, we are still not getting it. And that is because I forgot to change this variable type. We want to click from here and change this to be third person character object reference. Change type, and everything should be fine. You should be able to compile. Oh, we have to change this, sorry. Let's keep the alt rest and like left click from here. Shit. Like this. Let's connect it back to here. Ah why is this working like this? So let's try again. Let's delete this from here. Let's get the play ref. Let's set it. Let's connect. What? Okay, I'm so stupid. We want to change this again. PP third person character. I selected the wrong uh, variable. So PP third person character. Sorry about that. Let's change the type. Now this will connect. Also, let's connect to here. This will also connect to here. Okay, as you can see, everything is working. And if you connected it correctly on the first time, it should have worked already. Okay, now we have the player ref here. We have to compile. We will have to get the lane difference. Now we want to promote this to a variable. And let's call it lane difference. Now let's get from the then tree, connect to here. Let's double click to add a reroute and move it to here. Around here. Here. <laughs> let's compile. Let's save all. And now let's go to the anim graph. Let's go to the locomotion and to the walk run. Here, what we want to do is we want to delete this BSMM walk run and we want to get the walk run BS and connect it to here. Now we want to connect the ground speed to the speed and the lane difference we want to connect to the uh, lean. Okay, like that. Simple as that. Now when we compile and save all and move this to here, we should have the animations working. So let's see. Now when we change the lane, you can see he's leaning a little bit. It's looking a lot better already. And when we are running faster, he will lean a lot more. Okay. And you can obviously try this with, for example, here on the BB third person character, you can change the movement, the max walk speed to like 1000 from the start. So you can see how it looks at different speeds. So now we have the thousand on the start. You can see we have pretty nice looking animations here. And just remember to change the walk speed back to normal, like 500 or something like that. And if you want to the player not to rotate that much, you can change here where you have this out B, uh, sorry, out A, minus 100. You can change this to be like minus 50, and you can change this to be like 50. And now when you compile, save and play, you can see the player is not rotating that much. When we are running faster, you can see it better. It's rotating, but not that much. Okay. So 
so yeah, but I like the way you use of uh, sorry, uh, here 100 and minus 100. I think these are good values for me. Compile and save all. Yeah, as you can see, now when we change the lane, the player is little uh, rotating a little bit to the direction. So it's looking more natural. I think it's looking pretty nice. We have some like the game uh, came like alive a little bit more. Oh, why did I do that? But yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.